You know, six years ago, we were on the stage with you at the 2014 Game Awards, accepting the Game of the Year for Dragon Age Inquisition. And since then, we've been imagining new ways to use next-generation technology to bring the world and characters of Dragon Age to life. We're still in early production, but we thought it was time to give you the very first look at how BioWare's passionate team of developers are crafting this very special game. I've been at Bioware for a really long time, so I've got to see it grow up and turn from a, from a company of 35 people to a company of more than 300 people. There's amazing people in the industry. There's amazing stories to be told with other people. I love that character so much. <laughs> yeah. We're very experimental here at Bioware. So we're always coming up with new stuff. Uh <laughs> we're always trying to improve, innovate, and bring new characters to life for our players and fans to enjoy. The world of Dragon Age really has got it all. It's got frontier stories, it's got mystery, it's got hard-boiled detective stories. And of course, it's all wrapped up in kind of a fantasy setting. You really feel like you're the hero in the Dragon Age world and you're saving people. Dragon Age to me is a wonderful world to play in. I am really excited about the future of Dragon Age. This is an original world, original flora, original wildlife, original architecture. That makes it fun to explore and discover. In the next Dragon Age, we get an opportunity to, to see new things, new places, and interact with people who lived and grew up in these spaces as well. For the game we're working on now, we want to tell a story what happens when you don't have power. What happens when the people in charge aren't willing to address the issues. The things that you can expect in the next installment are going to be stories that focus on the people around you and the friends and family you make. Something that we'll be able to look forward to in Dragon Age is a really close relationship with game characters who really become real for you. We want characters to either be loved or hated. One of the best examples of that is Solus. Half the community wants to kill him, half the people want to marry him, and another part wants to do both. They call me the Dread Wolf. What will they call you when this is over? Bioware and EA has been one of the forerunners in using motion magic technology, and that makes it way more realistic when you're looking at the characters and the way they walk and move and interact in the world. Players want in that suspension of disbelief that this wonderful collection of digital pixels is actually a living, breathing soul. No, 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 it's okay. That's the good kind of rumble. I actually design bosses. I help with the creature design team as well. So I do all of like the big threats that you have to go up against. Nobody dies on my watch. For the Wardens! Choice is a big part of what Dragon Age is as a franchise. The decisions you make can affect change in the world. Decision making can mean that a party member lives or a party member dies. And it means owning your outcome and reactivity to the choices that you do make. I just love the possibilities that Dragon Age offers us and I'm excited to explore a lot more of them. To me, that potential is what gets you up in the morning. It's a fantastic opportunity every time.